Good evening, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Friday, March 29th, 2019, 1 a.m. Mountain Time. And you're looking at another eruption at Popo. Look at the volume of lava coming out at this very moment. Well, actually, hours ago, but today. Amazing. So, serious uptakes going on here. We'll report on them as we move through. But that is just bad news for those people living in that area. <coughs> Damn near scary. I keep calm. It's boom time and you've entered the boom room. Montana, North Dakota homes evacuated amid flooding from rapid snowmelt. <laughs> You know, God put us here to help other people, and that's what we're supposed to do. Amen to that. Well, we don't want a pat on the back or anything like that, but he puts the right people around you to make that happen. Can't argue with that one. Once we hit Iowa, as we got, I don't know, about three, four hours away from our destination, we just got a bunch of thumbs up, you know, from people we didn't even know. There's only about 400 people in that town. They gave you just like a warm heart because they were just so thankful that, you know, hey, thank you for helping us. And that's what we were there to do. Literally, they were bringing them hay. How about that for compassion? Wow. I got tingles, man. <clears throat> Dozens of Montana and North Dakota homes are evacuated along the Yellowstone River, which will not, Yellowstone itself, will not be erupting any time in your life. The flooding occurred after rapid snowmelt. Anticipating more flooding this spring, the North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum declared statewide flood emergency. 50 people were evacuated from a reservation. We'll get to that. We're getting there. Flood, floods deal a new blow to the farm belt. We're going to cover it. Farmers, agricultural companies face billion dollar losses as water swamps fields and they are now mandated to destroy any crops touched by flood water, which is all of the stores that they've been holding. Now severe flooding hits South Dakota American Indian reservations. Flooding that hit parts of the Midwest has nearly paralyzed an American Indian reservation in South Dakota, swamping roads and trapping people in homes and cutting off water supplies. They're on a three-hour, they're on a boil-your-water warning. It's contaminated. So the situation on the sprawling Pine Ridge Res was improved Tuesday, but two weeks of severe flooding could put the Oglala Sioux Tribe in recovery mode for months. And we're talking about their water supply is now toxic maybe even radioactive st louis officials prepare sewers and levees for flooding as the mississippi rises as we predicted that guy has a scuba suit on with weights heads up as the mississippi river continues to rise utilities and government agencies in the st louis region are taking steps to protect sewers levees and other facilities that could be affected by moderate to major flooding Above average snow melt and rainfall from the northern parts of the Midwest have caused the river to rise in St. Louis and it's going to continue to rise. More snow is predicted and heavy rain in the coming days. Heads up, St. Louis. The National Weather Service reported Thursday the river at St. Louis is at 34.8 feet. Meteorologists expect the river to crest at 36 on Wednesday, but that's just the beginning. These crests will continue to affect the region for weeks ahead. Now, when the river levels are high, there's an increased chance for flooding that could overtake the sewer system and break levees. 
We'll be watching it closely. Seven Midwestern Superfund sites have dealt with epic flooding since the bomb cyclone hit last week, but the EPA says everything is fine. You're all fine. They're supposed to be flooded, and we're supposed to spread the toxic materials all around. Didn't you know that? <clears throat> now, this tragic situation in the Midwest continues to unfold more than two weeks after a bomb cyclone brought in snow and eventually melted triggering floods that destroyed farms, crops, stored grain, and threatened tribal communities. And now everyone's being covered in toxic waste, radioactive material, and other harmful substances which are going to percolate into the groundwater and into your wells, no matter what they tell you. Now let's see what this hot chick has to say. Oh my God, is that pink? But for many states, meteorologist Scott Munt has a look at the rest of the country. We've it's been much showing on that. flood stories from within Kelloland, but it extends even farther outside of our region. While a lot of the snow is now gone in southeast Kelloland, it's a different story to our north as piles of snow continue across the landscape. That snow will take its time to melt and run off into area rivers. It's looking like a prolonged flooding situation for many. This graphic from the National Weather Service shows the extent of minor, moderate, and major flooding across the United States for the spring. Most of the major flooding has and will continue to occur in the Upper Plains and Midwest. As the rivers flow downstream, major flood concerns will follow the Missouri River into the Mississippi as it is its major tributary. Recently, we've had a pretty good stretch of dry weather. The key going forward is to keep this dry weather around as the flooding continues. I hope you're doing a dab. I am. Scott, it sounds like a lot of the country is being affected by the floodwaters. Well, yeah, and that will just continue for the next couple of weeks as we melt the snow and ice across the area. We'll have to watch for any storm systems that will add to that in the form of rain or snow. We it's bittersweet snow. with this, with the warm temperatures and the flooding. I, it really is, not to take away from the fact that Lemon yes, diesel we do have makes it nice sweeter. Days yeah. with sunshine and temperatures in the 50s, 60s, and near 70 yesterday in Sioux Falls. It was beautiful. It was great, and, but that just accelerates some of the snow melt, so yeah. it's, it, it's a give and take. Yep, that it is. Well, hopefully it slows down a little bit. It does. It does that today as temperatures will not be as warm. But as we look at the river gauges across Kettleland, we're starting to notice that things are moving to the north, starting to get moderate flooding around the Mowbridge area. And also the Big Sioux continues to move north in and around the Watertown area. And uh, even the, the James River now is looking at some of that uh, near flood stage into Brown County. So it's a situation that we will continue to watch. And one of the uh, rivers here is the Morrow River in north central South Dakota. That's uh, nor north central Kettleland near Mowbridge. As the record here, it's getting close to the record. In fact, it's forecast to at least tie the record, maybe get a little bit above it as it, it's expected to crest Friday morning. And then the Grand River near Little Eagle, we're looking at that to remain steady probably through tomorrow. Let's go ahead and stop along the James River Valley, give you an idea as to what's happening here as the river will continue to go up near Huron. That's a result of the melting of the snow and ice and remain steady near Forestburg as things continue to go downstream. The Mitchell area, same thing, remaining steady in major flood stage, a little below the record of 25.3 feet. And let's talk about the Big Sioux River near Castle Woods. We're starting to see that continue to move to the north. Let's talk uh, about it. If you want to watch the rest of this coverage, feet, please feel free to come steady. down and check it out. And as we continue to go downstream But I can't area, listen to this guy much longer. I already did my dab. <laughs> Let me get out of here. Wow. Now, we've been showing you flood stories from Kilo Land and the surrounding states for months, but it extends even further. While all the snow is now gone, it's a different story in the north and there's more snow predicted and more heavy rain predicted for this region. So why they think they're out of the woods, I do not know. They're living in La La Land. Midwest floods threaten ethanol supply. Could affect prices at the pump. Now this is because of a mandate coming out. And I don't mean two gay guys kissing at McDonald's. <laughs> I, I just erased the mandate or did I leave? I don't even have it please give it to me it might be lost up here in 100 tabs yeah we don't have it we'll get to it we'll probably come up upon it and I'll show you that mandate in a moment but let's look at the GFS model which is not a model. we're looking at the next 48 hours in your face right there boom heads up 
Wyoming, you're picking up 16 in many areas. Hundreds of square miles, 16 inches of snow predicted right there. We're talking west central and then Nebraska getting in the mix. Kansas heads up South Dakota. Southern areas picking up heavy snow. We have light to moderate snow throughout all of Nevada. I cannot believe the amount of moisture that has fallen in this state. Utah is picking up a little light snow. Northern New Mexico, we're even going to get into the mix down here in Colorado. And heavy activity up in the northeast, the northern tier. It's going to slowly descend in. See it? See how that works? There's your three-day. Boom! Heavy snow in the Dax. Heads up, northern Maine limestone. You're buried. I hope you got a new town manager. Oh, you did. And the snows continue to pile up in the west. In the mountains. And look at this system in the south. Check out South Carolina and Georgia. You've been bitching about snow. This model is becoming truer and truer every day. Look at this. April 2nd is your schmeckin. You'll be famous. Through the third, it will not be a turd. It's going to be a flooding event on the coast. Heavy snow, obviously, here in South Carolina. Heavy meaning 7 to 10 inches. That's unprecedented. Holy mackerel. Snow piles up in the Maritimes. More heavy snow in eastern Canada through April 7th. And look at the totals here in Idaho. Do you know what kind of rafting season they're going to have? It's going to extend in through August. We're already looking at a river crest through July 4th. That's millions of dollars for rafting companies all up and down here. And add on the cannabis, we're the, going to be the richest states you have ever seen in your life. And the sheep are flocking out here. They're falling off a of Grand Canyon in great numbers. We'll get to that. Do not go towards the edge for a selfie, especially if you've never been in a wilderness area. Heavy rain possible. On already flooded Midwest, a storm system will bring additional rains on already flooded Midwest. And the potential for severe thunderstorms with large hail, damaging winds, and destructive power from the southern plains to the middle Mississippi Valley. Expected. Gusty winds will increase. Fire weather threats from the desert southwest to the southern high plains. The wind season is kicking up. Red flag warnings already in effect in Colorado. Heads up. Whew. Flooding warnings in green. K click on your county. Check out Wyoming. Winter storm warnings and watches everywhere. Also, northern Utah, where they make hemp lucid. And that's tonight's first boom. Did you get it? It's like, boom. Holy sh. It's expanding. The universe. No, the star. The Epstein Barr syndrome. Whatever. It's happening. <coughs> Seismic update. No quakes of note. What? Who am I kidding? Of course there are. Kamchatka. What's this? 6.1 in Rusha. Definitely. Well, let's let's go in there. Let's see what's happening there. Let's go look together. Oh my God, this is moving on the subduction zone. Smoke a bone. Translate this in. This is going to be volcanic activity here at Chivalouche, which we can see. It's happening now. There's the plume. Here's the boom. Holy sh! Did I just do that? Why did this come up? I thought I fixed that. Man. Oh, we're stuck in a wormhole, yo. Seismic update. <laughs> One of our fans really likes it when I say that, so I want to say it a lot. Seismic update. Big boomer happening moments ago. 4.2, Petrolia, California. Tsunami threat. There is none. It's a 4.2. Why would you even put this up here? Oh, my God. We're going to go look. We're investigating. Live. No tsunami warning. 4.2. Holy, already degraded by the USGS downgrade service to four magnitude. Now, what's going to happen? This is effect will wrap around the... And then we're going to get a boom boom. <laughs> Let's hope this is... Yes. Oh, 25 kilometers of depth. This could be a precursor to a 
out here in the tr transition zone. Let's watch this closely. I'm going to move this for you so you can pick up what I'm putting down. 15 minutes, 22 seconds in. How do you feel? I feel fine. Volcano, worldwide volcano news update. Popo Blue Blue. 8,000 feet above the summit crater. That's almost two miles. And that was a minor puff puff pass. Which we will relive together right now. So, if you're dab worthy and you're ready, dab it up. Because we're going on pause to lemon diesel time. Now, my lemon diesel dab was amazing. Popo Catepeto, Bromo, Planchon, Petaroa, Sabancaya, Manam, all erupting in the last 24 hours. Popo, the most amazing. That's why we're showing it to you. But insignificant. This is normal activity that would be happening worldwide on volcanoes of this scale. There's no real uptake except the number of volcanoes erupting is much higher. We have 10 to 15 additional volcanoes worldwide that would normally be erupting. And this is due to cosmic rays reawakening these volcanoes. And it's not only Popo that's reawakening. Give them a thumbs up at Volcano YTS. Subscribe to the channel. Come over to the chat and tell them to suck it. Because that's what I would say. Now, Mount Baker regularly plumes steam. But we're predicting an uptick. And this steam plume today was viewed hundreds of miles away. Showing an amazing uptick. We should all do a dab together for it. Let's blow it up. This is Mount Baker, folks. This is in the United States. This is not a faker. This is reality and you're witnessing it. I hope you're enjoying it and doing it dad with me. Do it now. No Quaker, but that's a puff puff pass maker. Are you a shaker? Way too dramatic for my liking. Rockland declares state of emergency over measles outbreak. Holy sh... This is in New, New York. They're now barring unvaccinated people from public places. Rockland Cl County, New York. Is this, is this real? Rockland Cl County has declared a state of emergency over the ongoing measles outbreak with Executive Ed Day announcing that non-vaccinated minors are barred from public schools. Town halls and other public places. Even the mall. Holy sh...
What kind of a world are you living in where they mandate that you get injected with toxic shit? Probably one where there was a UFO sighting in the last 24 hours in Ventura. Have you heard about this? I didn't even watch the footage, but someone told me it was worth it. So let's look at it. Looks like a toilet seat to me. Do it down. I'm pretty sure Tyler's got a video about this donut. Toilet seat hole. Hi, I'm Carrie Cassidy from Project Camelot. Today we have a very interesting UFO sighting from Ventura, California, which is in Southern California, a few miles north of where I am. And I have to say it is quite fascinating. This individual is not experienced with UFOs. He really has never photographed a UFO before. I don't think he's even seen a UFO before. But he was smart thinking enough to grab his cell phone and start filming what he saw in the sky above his head. And we've got a very good, clear picture of a UFO that's donut-shaped. Uh, it does seem to have an empty center. It happened in the last two days. I think uh, that would be the 25th, maybe over the weekend, uh, and, the, and then Monday the 25th. So that's when we got hold of it. Now, it's my contention that this is a uh, part of the... Let's give a thumbs up over here. It's amazing footage. Holy macaroni. So what we're looking at here is... also on the screen. Man, I wish I could get a clear with, uh, what freeze frame there. I believe that this is part of the anti-gravity reverse engineering technology that our government has been working on since the 1940s. Now, August Dunning, who is a NASA astronaut, has recently come clean with full disclosure about the fact that the U.S. government has reverse engineered anti-gravity machines, and this is just one of them. What appears to be a tree in the foreground and we also have an object that appears to be possibly the sun, but I don't think it can be the sun. So it, it could be a reflection of something somewhere in the sky. It might be another UFO. It might be a much larger UFO. It's lower in the frame than either of those other objects. Now, which is this woman just sun. lost me and because it's, it's clearly the what sun. Is. I mean, what planet is she on? Heads up. But clearly, look at Project Camelot has a shit ton more subscribers than we do because they blatantly lie to you. So actually tell her to go fuck her. <laughs> go shut. Tell her to shut the F up. That's not, it could be the sun, another UFO. It could be, oh my God, what could this be? I don't even know what that could be on a hazy day right down there. Oh my God, it's probably uh, Claudia Abrams says the sun's dead and this is a fake sun. Yeah, that's the this is an artificial sun set up by China. <laughs> I can't even believe that people watch that crap and they're like, "Yeah, I believe that." You know what I believe? Two people dead at Grand Canyon after two incidents in a single week. One Tokyo man went whoa, whoa, whoa! and he went down because that's a long way down town. Yeah, they had to airlift his ass from the rocks and debris. As you can see. Oh my God. And some other guy was just found dead in the woods nearby. Conspiracy theory much? Or is it boom time? Maybe you're in the rabbit hole. Maybe Stanley Kubrick made it all up. Who knows? I did one too many dabs already. Are you ready for the wormhole? <laughs> We're entering it. It's accelerating. It's called the quickening. Some of you get sick and you like, and then you fall off the edge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when you're selfieing on the Grand Canyon, especially at this spot. Whoa! One false move. It's boom time. Heads up, people. 
Conservative media's war on AOC is hammering her poll numbers. Well, this is funny because the people they polled were progressives and they still tell her to go suck it. Like less than 20% of the population, 23%, think that she's even favorable. Like, it, it, I have a higher rating than that. I, I mean, that's insane. It's like one of the most hated people, except the president and maybe Ted Cruz. Whew. Killer frog disease, part of Earth's sixth mass, mass extinction. Yeah, really? And these people and their fear-mongering is disgusting. BBC, you can suck it. It's a fungal disease that has affected 5 to 6% of the entire frog population. Yeah, frog apocalypse. We're talking human apocalypse, and they're worried about frogs. This is how pathetic the media is. Impacts of climate change are accelerating, according to the WUMO. WUMO! Who knew what the WUMO was? The World Meteorological Douchebag Organization has warned you that it's accelerating. We're all accelerating. It's uh, burning up. There's no more ice. And I just checked MODIS, composite. This is the northern pole shot. Look at Greenland. The whole continent is covered. Look at Canada. It's all ice from the North Pole shot. Everywhere. All of Sweden is covered. Finland, Norway, Denmark. Holy schmack. It's an ice globe. Where is the... What the... Are they talking about? Here's the North Pole. The Arctic Circle. I'm circling it. It's covered in ice. And yet, this is the real problem I'm showing you. Estimated agricultural use for glyphosate. This is the EPEST high data. In the brown areas, there's 90 pounds or more per square mile dumped. These are toxic zones. If you live there, you're not going to live to your old. The majority of you are going to die horrendously with pharmaceuticals and autoimmune disease and who knows what big goiters in your neck mm. and some people are planning to prep in these areas out you won't be out you're gonna kill yourself my official forecast do not relocate to any area in brown duh or do you want 86 pounds per square mile of toxic pesticide in the soil where you're living? See where I am right here? It's white. This is my spot. White. Zero glyphosate ever used here. Ever. Check the facts. Now, we come over to Monsanto's site and they say that they're now bare. We we're a success. We successfully did it. And there is no evidence that glyphosate causes cancer in their new paper here. None, according to Bayer. But the current consensus, yeah, look at this, eight days later. Analysis, EPA ignored scientific research showing Monsanto's glyphosate causes cancer. Yeah, because if you're a multinational corporation that's getting handouts from governments and scratching their backs and the people you employ were the people that ran those governments, of course you're going to get away with murdering the public. Of course you are. Even when the scientific papers are right in your face. Environment Sciences Europe published this paper, peer-reviewed, how did the U.S. EPA and IARC reach diametrically opposed conclusions on the genotoxicity of glyphosate-based herbicides? I'll tell you, the CEO of Monsanto used to be the head of the EPA, you idiots. And you're going to listen to what the EPA says about groundwater and, and your food. Are you that stupid? 
The U.S. EPA considers glyphosate to be not carcinogenic. And Monsanto claimed eight years prior that it was biodegradable and you could spray it in your mouth like Bactine or some kind of mouthwash. Nonsense. It has been concluded to be carcinogenic to humans, Group 2A, by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Hello! But the mainstream will not tell you that. And they'll continue to sell you that. And they have it at tractor supply here by the gallon for $32. NASA's Cassini finds Saturn rings coat the tiny moons, which they refer to as ravi ravioli moons. <clears throat> Man, the state of science is embarrassing. Wake up. It's electric, you frauds, honeybees, and hemp. If you were wondering about either of them, this article breaks them down individually wonderfully. It's a great primer to learn about honeybees and hemp. A lot of you listening don't know anything about honeybees or hemp. And the information you're getting is total bullshit. Not in this article. This is the, the least article you will ever read. It gets a five-star rating from Oppenheimer Ranch Project. It comes from Jim, James Crouch, who will be part of the security team at LeetCon 2019. You need to be there. Doug Vogt will be there. I hope he can find his way there. <laughs> The origin of galactic cosmic rays has been argued about and only recently discovered as coming from remote areas, maybe like quasars and lasars and blazars and other czars, and also from our sun. And sometimes billion dollar projects pick up wasps having sex and they think those are galactic cosmic rays. But I digress. This paper shows the origin of galactic cosmic rays is coming from a cosmic sheet, a galactic plasma sheet or sheath that is flowing around the universe, kind of like a wormhole, only like a sheet. We'll bring you back to Tron. It not, doesn't look anything like that, but it's probably emanating from something more like this. Yeah. It's crazy. What we don't even know. And that what we think we know has already been like proven. And the fact that 100% of what you think is proven is just a theory. The problem with that is if you go against it, you get destroyed. So, a critical review of the standard paradigm for the origin of galactic cosmic rays is presented within this paper. Recent measurements of local and faraway rays reveal unexpected behaviors which challenge the commonly accepted scenario. <laughs> well, that's why you're here. Because you're challenging the current accepted reality. Psilocybin in the shadow. Psychedelic mushrooms as a tool for healing emotional trauma. Now, many of you were guided here because you are members of the same club I am, the Emotional Trauma Club. I was jailed as a child in my crib with a net. Then there were locks on my doors. That led to dysfunction and alcoholism, which led me to prison where there were more gates and locks. And the only way that I came out unscathed mentally was through my use of psychedelics. And I may be about to go on another journey into the realms of psilocybin, maybe even ayahuasca. Not because I want to get high or, man, I need to, be, I need to get high, man. It's because I want to heal from the emotional trauma that I suffered from this planetary existence for the last 47 years. Most of which has been a nightmare. But not anymore. I refuse to live a nightmare. I refuse it. I've taken control, and you can too. If you suffer from 
emotional trauma, I implore you to look into the healing effects of psilocybin. I'll leave you the article. And for those of you suffering from depression, magic mushrooms can reset the brain, literally. I was suffering from clinical depression as an alcoholic. I ate a bunch of mushrooms with some friends and we went in the woods and it seemed to heal me. And now I know the truth and I'm definitely going to be taking some more of these in the near future. And the reason I bring this up is because we talk about cosmic catastrophe and lost civilizations. And even my therapist, she's connected with Mexican groups that do peyote ceremonies. Right now, a good friend of mine is out front here. He came today. He's been involved in extreme ayahuasca ceremonies with indigenous people from the mountainous regions that have been handed down this tradition for what is thought to be thousands of years, tens of thousands of years. This is what the ancient people, the lost civilizations used as medicine to reveal the truth about the nature of humanity. It's being hidden from you on purpose because when you take this medicine, the lie the lies are unveiled immediately. Look at that little one. That's usually a better one. You always want to take the tiny one. Wow. Yeah. Do the tiny one. Whew. They're like powerful. The strong connectivity of brain networks is vital to functions like movement, sensation, perception, and thought. And we now realize that when these networks go awry, Functions diminish. 5G, electromagnetic pollution. Pollution in general. The air you breathe, the water you drink. Your pineal gland. It's calcified. Psilocybin can set you free. That's all I'll say. Magic mushroom studies show psilocybin offer powerful spiritual and psychological healing experience, experiences. This is true for everyone. <coughs> Even the dying can benefit from eating magic mushrooms because it will reveal the fact that dying is actually stepping into the next level. A gift. Life-changing experiences. Psychotherapeutic applications. Along with LSD, psilocybin has been studied in relationship to help terminal cancer patients deal with the stress and anxiety of their condition. They can even laugh about it like we try to do on this channel about catastrophic topics. There are few people on earth that deserve more care and comfort than those who are dying and the joy and spiritual fearlessness that comes with magic mushrooms. The joy and spiritual fearlessness that comes with the psilocybin experience. Ayahuasca as well. They're both different journeys. Are you willing to take them? We implore you to experiment with some of the safest natural medicines on earth. Start with cannabis. Expand your horizons. Take it slow. Baby steps. Enter the wormhole. Fall down the rabbit hole. The choice is yours. Fact or fiction, it doesn't matter. You exist in this hologram. You exist in this realm. It's only three dimensions. Walls are not really there, but our biological entity is perceived to see them. And when we hit them, they're solid. But for the most part, they don't exist. Are you willing to go to the next level? I implore you, seek out psychedelics. They will take you to the next level. A spiritual freedom of comfort in the eyes of destruction. You will realize what these re realized, realized years ago. That we are all connected through a neural network. 
the healing power of love is real. And no matter what happens to you, good or bad, it's supposed to happen to you at that time. Embrace your situation. Change the paradigm. You can warp the future. You're only alive at this moment. If you change your energy waves and your patterns and you can realize a future that you want to exist, you will be there. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to all of our Patreons. Thanks to people for putting up with my nonsense. I do this out of love. Nothing else.